of his very literal interpretation of the law book. Helping him out as the fourth official today, we have David Grassoff. So here we are then, the point at which no one wants to go home. It's do or die time, make or break. Bristol certainly on the way to breaking the bank. Does it all end here for this season? Will Rotherham's fairy tale continue? 80 minutes of skillful, passionate and dramatic rugby will show us. Buckle up. This is the championship semi-final. And there's too much juice behind the opening kickoff. From this Cicino. time, Bristol go for three points. Down at Bristol before the first leg, and Ali Rhodes had said, "If it's right in front of the post, we will kick for goal." And this is exactly what this is. But Nicky Robinson won from four last week. This is not a gimmick. One of those misses last week was in similar position to this. No mistake. This week, maybe 200 try score between these two sides in the regular season when it comes to semi-final time it's about the defense isn't it roberts missed out Sassino, and that's what bristol were expecting wasn't it there's still some tricks up the sleeve though keaton rotherham's first real attack here mold cronowit still just 15 minutes into this game penalty coming anyway Sassino surely be the man to take that penalty should it come to it well crone again but they want more here rather oh it's got out of the way to holmes the top holmes down that left hand side the crowd bang at their team come back for the penalty for referee carney high tackle Cena will go for the three points yeah i mean you're talking about the intensity uh, we've just had the bench walk past us big dan sanderson what are you fit dan enough which is code for i would play this game with a broken leg if needed certainly would we did speak in the week didn't we Dow? just whether there's a chuck down sanders is a big heavy man to counter out the likes of ryan jones who didn't know about Sorensen at that point but ben glynn as well but just is a match fit from that band and again it Worked well, didn't it, the second row last week, so why change it? Sassino then. Bring this back down to a three-point game. Wouldn't bet against him, would you? <coughs> oh, and it just drifts in quite brilliantly from Juan Pablo Sassino, the league's top point scorer by a country mile. Three all here in Sheffield, 17-20 on aggregate. Alfie Tuala's on the field, Tapuna now. There's a plethora of forwards there to take it it's on, but it's Trainer. Now his front row partner, Hall. Robinson, the little skip past Tuala Tackle that time. Mosses. Oh, it's been intercepted. Jack Roberts, Jamie Broadley. It's got Cecino and Gill there as well. Broadley says, oh, I'm going to take you on myself. Cecino, Gill, brother, breaking away. All for the interception. Just as Bristol. We're looking to finish this half on a high. It's Robert. Priest flies it outside. It's Keating. Has he scored? They certainly think he has. Has he got that left hand contact on the ball on the ground? Simultaneously. Matt, yes, you may award the try. Oh, it's been given! That is a very, very big moment in the second leg of this semi-final. Remember, Bristol were on the attack. He was turned over. Rotherham go down the other end, up the hill, into the win, and score a try of their own. Well, this is Alfie Tuala smashing back James Hall. And then from then on, it all starts. These guys know how to play. I admired Leeds' performance against London Wales, the way they break out. Broadly, a try scorer last week. They just got time on the ball. Joel Gill coming into the ball to Sino. And then when it comes out, Priest, the open side. A try in the corner. Not even Sassino can do that. The wind is difficult out there to say the least so what will happen to the scrums if um, I'm sure one of the props could go in there but Cecino that's an open goal 
He does get it. Cecino, 11-3 at half time here. Five points, the difference between Rotherham and Bristol. 25-20 on aggregate. And Rotherham lost the toss in there. Bristol, who decided to play downhill with the wind in our first half. And now let's get some thoughts at the end of this first half from Colin Quigley. He's with Bill. Colin, how intense was that first half? The heat, everything? Yeah, we knew we just had to come with everything and uh, we're giving it our all and more, like we say, this swarm. But we're in this, we're winning. You know, we just want to, we want to make this final. It means everything. How significant was it to get a try? Oh, especially there, we even got the three points before. Uh, but what's big is we've stopped them from scoring. They've, they started taking their three points. So we just need to keep this pressure going. And then you never know, we... Yeah. Cheers, Colin. Get a rest. Thanks very much. Well, huffing and puffing is Colin Quigley, but rightly so, my word. This Green King IPA Championship season just throws up twist after turn. And are we about to see the biggest of them all? Because Rotherham have come out. They played up the hill into the sun and they are ahead by eight on the scoreboard. More importantly, though, they are ahead by five where it matters most on the two leg aggregate. It is going the way of the home side. It's up, it's up. Okay. It's nice. Good game to win, guys. Good game to win. Well, that's, not, that's not much of a win, either. Keep yourself in. Awesome, lads. Let's keep it going, eh? Awesome, boys. Awesome, boys. Boys, let's keep the pressure on them, eh? Merchant, and that's not working because Rotherham are chopping down Bristol in the midfield. So I think they just want a bit, 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 more, bit more direct, and maybe Johnson adds a little bit more force in the scrum. We will see. Tight, the 31 win against London Welsh. Second leg of that one's tomorrow. 12:30. Interesting, Nicky Robertson here standing. He's got Mosses again, a great re second receiver. Can he bring the wing in short? Just watch out. He does it himself. And he goes to Mosses. Ben Mosses is clean through. Jack Roberts holds his head in his hands. Ben Mosses was clean through. He's been a thorn in the side of so many teams this season and just when it matters most Mosses delivers again oh he certainly does and it's the presence of short again for all the great defense that Rotherham have done in the first half that was an easy that was a gift but again brilliant play Nicky Robinson and that guy you don't know what's happening the Bristol fans there's a few of them that, that have come up <laughs> don't know which way bus train car doesn't really matter they're here and they're side back in it that's evens I make it on aggregate this to take it, this is right in front, or almost right in front. And Marco Mummer obviously just due to come back in. They were playing with 14 guys. Marco Mummer due to come back to make it up to 15. This should be a give me. This should be Bristol back in the lead. 25 points all. This for Bristol to retake the lead. Flags are up and Bristol do have the First lead. real incision into the game as well. Quick tap and go, off he goes, sets the platform, and now the big prowling Bristol Fours can just take it at the time. The pace is up, the ball's coming back. Rotherham can't slow the ball down. That's what they did in the first half, that's what they did in the first leg. Big ball carriers there, all hands to the pumps, but again, this time Bristol won't go for the corner, they'll go for the three points. And as I thought predicted, Dallin Murphy is uh, warming up with Sanderson underneath. They've had enough of uh, Cecina's defensive role. They need now a playmaker. They need someone to get this ball through the hands. And they need a kicker out there if they've got a chance of uh, getting... Oh, ask Colin Quigley. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nicky Robinson. One from four last week. Three from three this week. Come with the hour. This right to the edge of his range that struck it very well. Flags are up. 
and Bristol's lead is extended. Is it slipping away? Just psychologically, they, they look beaten down there, rather down on their bench, Pat. There's, there's, an, there's an air of, oh, yeah, they've almost conceded it, and I think they need something now to spark it off again. Just a moment of luck, a bounce of a ball to get them back into it, to, to, to relight their fire, as it were. Well, we've seen them do it, I think, but if this goes over, I think it'll be uh, a little too, uh, too far to climb. But if there's one team in this division that can come back out after a after sort of uh, you're looking at 14 15 points it is rather and it's the last roll of the dice isn't it jordan davis is waiting to come on as we wait to see nicky robinson's attempt at goal take it out to an 11 point game it's a big game and he's a big match player and he has played a big part in this game today, isn't he? Nicky Robinson followed by Ryan Jones. Two big players have had a big, big influence. People have questioned him coming into this Bristol squad for the playoffs, but it's a professional game. Of course, Bristol could do that. If Rotherham had that opportunity, I'm sure they would do it themselves. Lee Black had admitted that to us. He said he'd do it. But his influence on this Bristol side cannot be underestimated here at Abbeydale this afternoon. And as the sun sets, it looks like Rotherham season now, Nicky Robinson to bang another nail into the Titans' coffin. And that's the full Huge, huge credit to Rotherham in the season they have had. They've surprised everyone in this championship and on resources well, well below anything that Bristol have thrown at this season. Hugely proud. If there was a director of rugby award in the championship, surely Lee Blackett would win it. Incredible what he has done with his team and this group of players. But he would be the first one to compliment his players and the talent that he has within his squad. But it's hats off to Lee Blackett and his squad. A magnificent season they have fought right to the very end but then they were always going to like Jimmy Lowe a new breed of, of young Set. coaches coming in that's that want to coach positively this side he knows there's there's limitations on his side as we see again the rather and scrum creek and get the ball gets turned over but that's what money buys you maybe if some nice benefactor anyway never mind Bristol go forward and go through to the final totally deserved Annie Robinson and Sean Hawley the pressure was all on Ryan Jones it was all on Annie Robinson it's all on Sean Holly and the rest of this Bristol squad. A moment, even today, late in this game, you thought that Rotherham might just do the unbelievable, but Bristol have turned it round in the second half. They came back in the first leg. They have come back this week. They have shown huge amount of character and heart and full credit to them. Not since 2010 have they reached the final when they were denied by Exeter. Rotherham did their best to deny them getting to this final, but Bristol have shone through.